he continues to be fitted and feasted by international leaders. But accusations that Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman was behind the killing of prominent Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi has taken the shine off his worldwide charm offensive and his image as a reformer. The focus has been on who has ordered the killing. I do not have evidence regarding who has ordered the killing. What I do have is evidence suggesting that the responsibilities of high-level officials may be engaged and therefore is requiring further investigation, in particular of the Crown Prince, for a variety of reasons. The first one is that the people directly implicated in the murder reported to him. Khashoggi was in the Saudi government's crosshairs long before he was killed in October last year at the Saudi consulate in Istanbul. He had repeatedly questioned the credibility of reforms Crown Prince Mohammed was undertaking. Initially, he was among many Saudis critical of their government's domestic policies. Among them was also Prince Walid bin Talal, a cousin of the Crown Prince. Talal was involved in many schemes to open up Saudi society including the launch of an international news channel with Khashoggi as its head. We will enter a crowded market because there are a lot of Arab news channels, but some of our colleagues at those channels have lost their objectivity. Those efforts ended with the arrest of Talal and several other senior Saudi royals in 2017. They were later released and have since stopped criticizing Mohammed bin Salman. But Khashoggi continued to insist the Saudi monarchy remained brutal and repressive. And he was particularly vocal about it in the US media. At a time when Crown Prince bin Salman was working to strengthen the Saudi alliance with the US, President Donald Trump was one of the first leaders to lend his support when accusations first arose against the Crown Prince. Trump's critics have demanded a stronger response. You know, I'd like for him to say, if I could be honest, I'd like to, for him to say that attacking or, or, or detaining or, or murdering a U.S. resident, someone who lived in Virginia, someone who was a writer for the Washington Post, is unacceptable, beyond condemnation, that it is unacceptable and that we will pursue this to the fullest of our means. That's what I, I would like to hear from the president. Initially, Saudi authorities denied having anything to do with Khashoggi's disappearance. Then they laid the blame on rogue security agents, who, they say, acted without authority. Those assertions, however, are contradicted by evidence the UN says it has examined. That led to an international outcry and condemnation. But it's unlikely to ever lead to Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman's questioning or stop a crackdown in Saudi Arabia on those who campaign for change in the kingdom. Shweb Hassan, TRT World.